In today's story, I'll be telling you about a person bringing sustainable energy to Indigenous communities, whilst at the same time campaigning for Indigenous people's rights. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, each from different countries, with each subject involved in a positive environmental action in that country. And today it's the turn of country number 32, Canada. The subject for my portrait for Canada is Melina Laboucan Massimo, a longtime Indigenous and environmental activist who has been a vocal advocate for renewable energy, but more importantly, an advocate for a just transition towards green energy. Just transitions focus on the transition out of high carbon activities and into the green economy, seeking to ensure harm to workers, communities, countries and regions is avoided while maximising the benefits of climate action. Among the groups most likely to be affected by the green energy transition are indigenous communities, many of whom may be disproportionately dependent on fossil fuels for their day-to-day -day energy needs and livelihoods, and at the same time are also most likely to bear the brunt of the impacts of climate change. Canada is a country in North America. It extends from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean and northward into the Arctic Ocean and is the world's second largest country by total area. It has a southern and western border with a country beginning with you, which is the world's longest binational land border. Indigenous peoples have continuously inhabited what is now Canada for thousands of years. British and French expeditions settled along the Atlantic coast in the 16th century. The environmental concerns in Canada include soil, water and air pollution, the threats and effects of oil sand and oil pipelines, the negative impacts of damming, acid leaching from mining and temperature elevation at twice the global average, impacting a particularly fragile environment causing permafrost and ice cap melting and changes in precipitation. Melina is Lubicon Cree from the community of Little Buffalo, located in Alberta, Canada. Little Buffalo is an oil sands region and as a result, Melina grew up witnessing firsthand the negative impacts that oil sand development have had on the environment as well as the development of her Indigenous community. Melina has been attending protests about this matter since the age of seven, when she attended a six-day protest by her community against oil and gas drilling on their land. While her parents and grandparents were part of the blockade, Melina watched from the safety of their car. The experience had a profound impact on her. Melina reports that since 1978, over $14 billion have been made off of her family's traditional territory, yet they still do not have running water. She goes on to say that the more than 2,600 oil wells on the land make it impossible to live sustainably. To make matters worse, almost 70% of Lubicon territory has been leased for future development without the consent of the Lubicon people, directly violating their charter rights. The Rainbow Pipeline spill in 2011 occurred on the land of Little Buffalo, with 28,000 barrels of oil spilt and the subsequent fine inadequate to even provide for cleaning up the community. This event further inspired Molina to take action. Melina's master's degree thesis in Indigenous Governance with a focus on energy was completed at the University of Victoria. As part of her thesis, Melina proposed building a solar powered centre in her hometown in order to ensure just transition 
to green energy. The Piitapan solar project was completed in 2015 and since then the project has provided power to the community's health centre using solar panels to generate green energy, create jobs in the community and provide a template for other communities to follow. Following the completion of this project, Melina founded Sacred Earth Solar, branching out from this template to create projects in other indigenous communities and contribute to providing a just transition. In addition to the work with Sacred Earth Solar, Melina is the Just Transition Director at Indigenous Climate Action, an indigenous-led organisation that advocates for communities and indigenous-led solutions. She's also a Renewable Energy Fellow at the David Suzuki Foundation and the host of the Power to the People TV series that profiles sustainability initiatives among indigenous communities in Canada. Melina also continues to advocate for social justice, including speaking out on violence against indigenous women and serves on the boards of Seeding Sovereignty and the NDN Collective, and is also on the Executive Steering Committee of the Indigenous Clean Energy Social Enterprise. Melina is an in-demand public speaker spreading her message of equitable climate justice and inspiring people. If you'd like to find out more about Molina and Sacred Earth Solar, I have put some links in the description below. Final words from Molina are, Indigenous peoples and our ways of life have been purposely invisibilized for far too long. We have knowledge cultivated over thousands of years on how to live in sustainable, reciprocal relationships with Mother Earth. To abate the climate crisis, a global paradigm shift back to living within the natural laws of Earth is essential. This will require the leadership and expertise of indigenous peoples across the globe.
There is more information on this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are in the description below. At this point I normally give a teaser as to who the next subject will be but sadly I have still not been able to identify anyone from the Central African Republic or from Chad. Please get in contact if you have any connections in those countries as at the moment the project for the first time ever is on hold.